So today I'm with Lisa Novak from Novak Properties. She was recently awarded Most Innovative Female Agent of the Year and she's very active. In fact, John McGrath in his interview talked about her social media prowess. So I've invited her into the studio and we're going to have a chat about social media from an agent's point of view. Thank you for coming, Lisa. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. So give us a bit of a rundown on how you became an agent because that's relatively yeah. new for you. It is, it is. So um, our business has been running for almost 19 years and I was always involved in the background of the business, first in a marketing capacity and then moving more into a general manager role. Um, I really always wanted to be in sales. Um, it's just the time wasn't right, raising children and you know the business needed me in different areas. So um, about two years ago, um, I decided literally to take the plunge overnight. I picked up my desk and I moved it into the sales department and uh, hit the ground running quite quickly. So how have you found it becoming an agent after being behind the scenes for so many years? Yeah, amazing. So one of the things that I did notice was from the outside looking in, there were so many things that I thought needed to change in the industry. But I thought, look, what do I know? You know, I'm not actually in inside the whole sales department. And it wasn't until I'd actually moved into sales that I actually realised a lot of my observations had been correct, that the industry was somewhat stuck in a bit of a time warp. And you've brought all those amazing marketing skills into your role as yeah. an active selling agent. So, yes. you know, what have you brought into the fray to help promote and sell properties? Yeah. So what I saw was that um, in terms of social media, a lot of agents weren't really doing it quite right. Mm -hmm. um, and, and what I mentioned just now about the, um, the industry being stuck, stuck in somewhat of a time warp. So I felt that there was a big niche in the market for um, an agent to start selling property off the back of social media. It's just I wasn't quite sure how that was going to work. So now that you've put that into practice and you've been, you've sold quite a few properties mm. and with the help of online marketing, yeah. Yeah, what have you worked out? Like what's the formula? Content, content. So very early on, um, I didn't have a lot of listings. Okay, so we cross sell within our office. Um, so I started taking a lot of stock that was sitting on our website that hadn't sold and thought maybe I could start putting that out onto my social media. Um, and so that's kind of how I got started with the selling. But before that, if I can just jump back a little bit, um, when I really didn't have a whole lot of listings, I just decided that if I just got content out, maybe I could build my viewership. So I would just, you know, I would just go out and film absolutely anything that was real estate related or community related, as long as I was just getting this content out. And I've got to admit, for the first year and a half, I actually wondered if anyone was even watching. Um, <laughs> and it was only about six months ago that I really started to get some traction. That's really interesting yeah. because, I mean, from my perspective, um, yeah, content is so important. Yeah. Um, and also, I love the fact that you're sharing with our viewers that you, it, you had to be in it for the long haul. Yeah. Like it's not, because so many people think that it, there's a magic pill and you do one thing on one Spot channel on. in one way and then yeah. overnight success. Correct. But, um, yeah, so talk me through, you know, when did you start to feel the change and how did that, you know, bring you business? Yeah, so about six months ago, so I took an old listing that had been sitting on our website, as I mentioned, for some time that was an off market. Thought, I wonder if I just go and do a quick little video um, out the front of the property. The vendor actually didn't want me going inside because at some stage he was considering going onto the property portals, okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, onto realestate.com.au and domain. So I just did a quick little video from the outside of the property and decided that maybe I'll just run up and down the street and just show people around and, and show them where we are. So that's what I did. By the time I'd gotten to my car, my phone had rung and it was a lady who I actually did know, but I had no idea that she was following me on social media. Mm -hmm. And she said, I'm interested in the property that, um, that you've just done a little video on. Anyway, long story short, um, we ended up having a deal by the end of that day. Wow. I so the that. property was sold. Yeah. Wow, I love the fact that you did a live video, I'm yep. assuming, and then you, you were wondering, you just said to me that you wondered whether anybody was watching you or Correct. following you, and you know, that was validation, they were, and they picked up the phone straight yep. away. And look, it's also that authenticity. I think this is where a lot of people seem to 
get it a little bit wrong. Um, people will take that authenticity over professionalism or over perfection rather these days they'll take that any day okay yes. so the authenticity is absolutely key and what does authenticity mean to you being yourself okay and then how so how are you Lisa um, like how do you portray Lisa through social media through you know digital um, yep. channels on a daily basis like talk me through a typical day in the life of Lisa okay so there's not a lot of planning that goes into it mm -hmm. um, I think that's the important thing the biggest issue that I see that happens particularly in our industry is that agents overthink stuff mm -hmm. okay so when we're doing professional videos much like what we're doing now um, you know when you said to me I sent you through the list of questions did you have a look I said no I'd rather just do it all ad-lib that authenticity is gold what comes out um, when someone has not prepared is, it's magic, you know? And so just being yourself, um, you actually get over the fact that you've got a camera in front of you. Um, we're agents at the end of the day. We know what we're selling, okay? Switch the camera on and just be yourself. It's not about you, it's about what you're selling. And so when you have that mind switch, everything starts to change. Yeah, and it, it's, I say this to my clients a lot of the time as well, like we're not doing anything different to what you do on a daily basis. No. You're talking to people, um, you're answering questions that you answer time and time again. Yeah. And um, yeah, but it is, isn't it? It's funny that um, we kind of clam up or become like, you know, um, rabbit in a headlight when as soon as a camera yeah. is there, when, when it's your natural talkers, your natural negotiator. That's it. Now, there's another little golden rule is that you've got to go live, okay? You've got to put yourself under the pump. You've got to go live. And if you make a mistake, who cares? We're human mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter. People don't mind. They're very forgiving. So live is the key. Turn the camera on and just go for it. Because if we start to do the pre-records and run through properties, what's going to happen is, much like a selfie, we're going to do them 20 times. We're not going to love any of them. We're going to think we sound silly, we're too fat, we, whatever it is, mm -hmm. that's where the gold is. Yeah. Turn the video on, be authentic, be yourself. Go I know exactly it. what you mean because the same works for me because I need the pressure. So yeah. put me on a stage with like an auditorium of 500 people and I'm like performing and I yes. love it and I'm in my element. Yeah. Put me, but you know, two years ago when you put me in front of a camera and I had to talk and I know that the camera can be start, stop, start, stop. So, but when I'm running out of time, that's when I just yeah. like push it out. It's just like you need that um, pressure. Yeah. And, and live gives you that because yes, um, going it live, it's like, it, it's, you know, there's no um, editing, there's no changing. So you just got to like stay in the moment and, and get it out. People want to see that, you know, they really do. They want to see the authentic property. They want to see the authentic you. Um, it's, it, it's critical these days. As I said, people will take that authenticity over that perfection any day. And so we all do it in the real estate industry where we'll drop in virtual photos um, and then a buyer will walk into a property and realise that it's nothing like what they thought and it just becomes an annoying process. Yeah. Okay. So people prefer the fact that I don't have a property prepped and ready, all right? They're actually buying it before it's going onto the market. Mm -hmm. They're buying it before it's gone onto the property portal. So it wasn't quite ready yet anyway, but the buyer gets the benefit of coming through that property as it is in its raw state and they're fine with that. And I like that, I like that idea because when you are a buyer um, and you are looking for properties, yeah. um, the ones that are, you know, have been around for a while or as soon as they, you know, go to absolutely everybody, they get snapped up if they're really good. And so you, I guess you feel like you're getting a bit of exclusivity yes. and you're ahead of the curve. And, and they are, and they are. Because the intention is always that these properties are actually going to go out onto the property portals. Mm. All right, so they are always going to launch out to realestate.com.au okay. or domain, all right? It's just that they never get there. So about 98% now mm -hmm. of my properties that I've launched onto social media have sold before they got to the property portals and not cheaply. They sold well above the vendor's expectations. Wow, that's an amazing stat. Yeah. And yeah, I, so because you did mention to me that yeah, you don't call it an off-market uh, campaign. Yeah. What do you call it? Pre-portal. So it's pre-portal. Okay, it is always going out to the property portals. 
Um, it's just that it never got there. And as you mentioned, it's that they, they get the benefit of coming and having a look at the property and, and potentially purchasing it before it actually goes out to market. And buyers will pay, they'll, they'll pay a premium for that. Okay, they'll pay a premium to stop that property from going to auction because, as you mentioned, a lot of them have actually missed, missed out. out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it is that fear of missing out. And they will miss out because it will sell at auction, undoubtedly. Um, and so they've got that option of purchasing it prior to it going there. I love this concept because, um, interestingly, on the flip side, I, my agency has been getting a lot of property developers that have been had their new homes sitting on the portals for a long time. Right. And then the campaigns that my team and I do for them is like post the portals. It's where like they've lost traction. It's kind of gone stale. Right. And then we're doing it afterwards. Yep, but, spot on. Um, so, yeah, but I love the idea that it's like either pre or, so or I'll, after. So I'll do both. Look, this, this, this philosophy works for anything, okay? It works pre-portal, it works uh, whether we're going out to the portal, we're not going out to the portal, or if it's already been sitting on those portals for too long, mm -hmm. um, then we can take it and we can apply it to a very different portal, social media. Okay, it's a whole different world out there. Um, and, and also a lot of the buyers that have purchased from me, they weren't even looking for property. So if those properties were sitting on realestate.com.au or domain, they never would have bought them. Yeah. They weren't out looking, all right? They were the emotional buyers. So, um, but you're quite right. It does also work very, very well when a property's been on the market for too long. And a lot of agents are like, well, what do we do now? And we're so lucky you know, because we've now got more options, right? Because yes. everybody's been complaining for a long time about, you know, you know, we're at the mercy of the portals. And I mean, I work for one of the portals and yeah. I have no, nothing against any of yes. them. I think they do a fantastic job. Yeah. Um, but um, in terms of like having options and having ability to reach more people, tell me how you view the likes of Facebook or social media or, or Google. Like, how do you um, position it in your mind in comparison to a portal site? Like... What do you get from those platforms? Um, eyeballs, lots of them. You know, when, when, when you're um, looking at people at a bus stop or watching people in cafes and everyone's looking down on their devices, sorry to say, they're not on the property portals. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're all on social media. So, and, and that was always my philosophy. Where are all the eyeballs of the world? They're all on social media. So why not put property on there? Mm -hmm. Because that is where all the eyeballs of the world are. So I can get a much, much bigger reach. As I mentioned earlier, the people that aren't looking to buy property, I'll capture them as well as the people that are looking for property. Um, and look, these days, you can hone right in onto different demographics. You know, I can find you within a five kilometer radius. Mm -hmm. um, I can, you know, push myself up onto, on, onto your feed. Um, you can do all of that stuff. I, I do a little bit of boosted posts, mm -hmm. um, but it's more the content that I'm getting out. It's that consistency of pushing that content out. Um, and, uh, and again, you know, then I can hone right in onto a five kilometre radius of an area that, um, that I want to capture you in. Very good. And yeah. just thinking loud about the fact that you use live, will you get extra visibility by using live? Yes. Um, you can actually post videos that have been, you know, pre-produced through the live environment. But um, Correct. But that's, yeah, I was just sitting here trying to work yes. out how is she getting that without, you know, you do a little bit of boost, which is great because you definitely need to be doing paid advertising. Yes. Yep. But yeah, yep. that's your trick really, isn't it? That's like, that. that's where you're um, not only putting the pressure on yourself, just recapping what you're sharing, but you're also leveraging the fact that live gets that extra visibility to people that do follow you. It does, it really does. And also what a lot of people don't realise is when you've gone live, you can actually save the live, mm -hmm. okay? So there's a little button on the top left-hand side of Facebook, It'll, it will allow you to save the live, mm -hmm. then that will sit in your camera roll then you can grab that live video and you can push it up onto some of the other portals, Instagram, IGTV, LinkedIn, etc. Okay, so I can push that up later. So it might look like I'm in 60 different places in one day, but it could be a pre-recorded live video. But a lot of the time it is live, without a doubt. Um, but you can certainly, you know, you can certainly save that and push it up at a later time if you want to. Excellent, these right. are great tips. Yes. And what about, um, 
in terms of how much you do, because it's, you know, you've got a very busy day and you're in front of people and with people. Yeah. Um, do you have support in your, you know, agent team that um, assist you with marketing yourself continually? Yeah, so um, not so much the marketing side, because I do like to control that. I think that's, a, you know, that's part of the authenticity. Um, I think if I'm controlling my social media, then it is authentically Lisa Novak. Mm -hmm. I feel like if I give that away to someone else to do, I'm going to lose that touch. Mm -hmm. So it's very important and critical that, that you know, I am controlling that. Um, but I do have a, an amazing team. So I've got a, a PA who deals with a lot of my day-to-day um, -day stuff, make sure that everything gets done. And then um, I've also got a, a Michael, a, another guy in uh, my team as well. So together we share the listings and he also looks after a lot of my buyers. And look, it's got to be that way. You know, it's got to be that way. If you want to be on top of things all the time um, and uh, have that efficiency, you need a team. There's no doubt about it. Excellent. Thank you so much for my sharing pleasure. all of these great insights. And um, I look forward to talking to you again. Sounds good. Thank you. Thanks.